Hey everybody, we're ready to wrap up Genesis chapter 23 uh, in the um, death of Sarah and her burial. And we're going to finish up with verses 17 through 20. So follow along with me. It says, So the field of Ephron, which was in Machpelah, which was given before Mamre, the field and the cave which is in it, and all the trees that were in the field, which were within the surrounding borders, were deeded to Abraham as a possession in the presence of the sons of Heth. And after this, Abraham buried Sarah, his wife, in the cave of the field of Machpelah before Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. So the field and the cave that is in it were deeded to Abraham by the sons of Heth as property for a burial place. So these things were deeded to Abraham. So this was, this was official. This was land that he owned. He was promised by God that his descendants would possess this entire place, right? But he only possessed a field and a cave in his lifetime. This is it for him. You know, not only did he have this promise from God, but here he had a deed to this one little spot. This was the only land he would ever own in the promised land. But an important piece of land it was. When we think about Abraham's life, his family really centers around this cave. I mean, when you look ahead in Scripture, and we'll talk about each of these things, Isaac and Ishmael bury Abraham in this very cave, just a few chapters over in Genesis chapter 25. Isaac and Rebekah are both buried there. Jacob buried Leah there in Genesis 49, and Joseph would bury Jacob there in Genesis chapter 50. See, this, this cave was the great tomb of the patriarchs. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, all buried here with their families. It was a special spot. And this was the first land of all the promised land that is still inhabited by the Israelites to this day. This cave is under Israelite control today. But it's the first spot that Abraham could kind of plant his flag on and say, this land, this little piece of the promised land is mine. And through the leadership of men like Moses, Joshua, David, Solomon, we'd see that land get a lot bigger than a field in a cave because we can trust in God's promises. You guys uh, be good. We'll see you again later with Genesis chapter 24. Have a blessed day.